Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Zaid here with another episode of Zaid's Experience. So we're on to week five of this fasting carnivore diet, and so far the results have been awesome. It's everything I've been expecting. But today we're going to be talking about some of the progress that I've made and the fasting and carnivore dieting world, along with some blue light glasses topics that we're gonna be discussing. So come with me and let's check these out, guys. So before we start, thanks for joining me in another episode, guys. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and push that notification bell. That way you guys get notified every time I come up with the video such as this. As you guys know, you guys are going to be finding a lot more on this fasting and carnivore topic as well as human optimization and little tricks that are going to help you optimize your health here and there. So. Push, 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 push that subscribe button, guys. So on with the topic. As far as the fasting goes, this is the fifth week that I've tried the fasting and it's been going great. I actually haven't dropped any weight, but I haven't gained any weight either. The reason is, as I told you guys, I kind of developed like three little cues you could say or things I can go to when it comes to fasting. When I do a 24 hour fast, it's more of a maintenance phase. So I only eat once every 24 hours. The second one would be a 48 hour fast and that will allow me to drop anywhere from two to three pounds. And that's a little bit more of a losing phase, so losing a little bit more fat or even water. And third would be the 72 hour fast. And whenever I do a 72 hour fast, I notice that I lose anywhere from four to five pounds. That's when I really wanna cut off some weight. As of this week, since this is the fifth week, it was a week for me to kind of chill back. So I did everything on a 24 hour basis. So I only ate once every 24 hours. I did not do a 48 hour fast. I did not do a 72 hour fast. It was a way for me to assess and kind of prove to myself is the 24 hour fast really just gonna keep me there or am I gonna actually go up and wait? So it actually did keep me at 173, 174 and depending on how much water, I would actually go up to 175 pounds. But that is a good way that I can manage that is way better than being at 196 all the time, which is where I started five weeks ago. With that being said, I also have a little bit of an update uh, along with all this, and that is I have finally gotten clear to do a couple of exercises. And what I mean by these exercises that I'm gonna be doing will be using the bike, maybe using the treadmill to just kind of walk a little bit more and doing some abs. So I'm gonna be doing some of those exercises and by next week, I'm definitely gonna post those results and hopefully I can show you guys where I'm gonna be at for next week. Maybe I'll gain a little bit more muscle in the midsection because God knows I've been hunching a little bit more. I've been losing a lot of muscle here in my core. I've been losing a lot of power just sitting all the time, you know? And also, hopefully I can bring my stamina up a little bit. I, I've been given the okay to do stationary bike, not to exert myself too crazy because the hip will start acting up. So just the light kind of pedal, but I mean, just doing that is better than not doing anything. So I was super happy when I heard that. And then walking again, it's, it's uh, my knee has been getting a little bit better. And so it, even though I can feel it for very, very prolonged walks, like let's say an hour or two, I'll start feeling it along with my hip. If I do like 20 minutes, I think it's actually therapeutic and I should be able to walk 20 minutes. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna be doing that and hopefully it affects the progress in a positive way. So I'll be keeping you guys updated for next week on that. And just as a heads up, next week is already today for me and I can see the results, guys. But I won't tell you anything about that. So up with the next topic, blue light blocking glasses. I look super hipster with these, but I mean, I already got the beard and everything, the long hair. Uh, the main point here is, is that I've been using these blue light blocking glasses for the past two to three weeks almost. I've been super surprised with the results. I really thought they were super gimmicky, really thought that they weren't gonna do much to help me out, but I was super surprised to find several things improved overall. So for all of those of you who don't know what blue light blocking glasses are, they're just a pair of glasses with kind of a coating, a UV coating that helps reflect blue light. It's exactly what it sounds like. It, they help reflect blue light. There's different types of glasses. There's different types of qualities that lift 
that deflect certain types of UV. So there's different types, there's different prices, there's all kinds of things. So what I found that these blue light blocking glasses really helped me out with was several things. The first one that was super, super noticeable for me was the fact that I was able to go to sleep a lot faster. Because they block so much of the blue light that we consume throughout our devices, our TVs, our computers, basically all, all the things that have an LED light, our eyes get super, super tired. And so by the end of the night, we have been fed all this ultraviolet light all day, all this blue light we have been fed. And even at nighttime, we're feeding it with all these LED lights and a bunch of other things. And so our eyes are just working overtime. And by the time that you get to bed, you feel like you're still up, like it's still daytime. And so it's really, really hard for you to fall asleep, especially if you're in a dark room and you're using just your phone and that's just shining the light right up on your face. You're basically telling your, your brain that it's still, there's still daylight outside. And then for you to just shut it off immediately and see blackness, you're, it's really hard for you to fall asleep. So I noticed that I was able to fall asleep sleep super, super fast, actually within five to 10 minutes max of hitting the mattress. Usually it would take me 40 to 45 minutes. So I would tell my girlfriend, hey, let's go to sleep at around 8.45. That way I knew by like 9.30, I was passed out or something like that. But now it's like, I go to bed at nine and I'm, I'm asleep well within a couple of minutes and I feel super rested when I wake up. And that leads me to point number two, Whenever I wake up after a night of using these guys, I feel a lot more rested. I feel like like I actually went to sleep. I don't know how many of you guys have gone to sleep like, hey, today I'm gonna go to sleep at nine o'clock. Yeah, and I have all the way up to six o'clock to wake up. I'm gonna have a good night's sleep. And you go and you do that, but then you wake up and you feel like crap. Well, this really helped minimize that. Obviously, it's not the only thing that dictates that, but I definitely saw it over a long period of time, over several days. And the more I used them, the more I was able to notice it. So that's something that I definitely watched for and I think they really helped out with. As far as eye fatigue, I noticed very little of it. I noticed that during the nighttime when it's, I actually use them at two times during the day. So before we move on, I use them in the morning when I leave to work and usually at nighttime as well. During the daytime, I really kind of don't want to use them. For one, some good ultraviolet light that we need for our eyes that do a lot of good things for our cells and our bodies during the daytime. This is why we need to be out in the sun a lot more. Our cells require the mito to help keep the mitochondria healthy of ourselves and it does a bunch of stuff. So trust me, we do need some of the ultraviolet light but not, not the extra one from all of our devices. And so during nighttime, I use it for obvious reasons. I gotta be in the computer, I gotta be somewhere or if I'm at the office inside, I'll go ahead and I'll use these and they definitely work. But the reason I use them in the morning more so, more so than that this was actually one of the main reasons why I got them was when I, when I go out of my house, it's super early in the morning. And so when I'm driving, I drive for 45 minutes to an hour to get to work. And as you guys know, or you probably have felt when you're in a stop sign and this guy's just flashing LED lights through your back window and it feels like he can see through your freaking skull because of how powerful they are. Well, imagine that for an hour while you're in the freeway, everybody's coming this way and you're going that way and everybody's just shining their lights on your face. Like it's terrible. It's the equivalent of waking up and then running to the restroom after like five, six hours and turning on the light immediately, like just a super white light. <laughs> that same sensation, I felt it for about 45 minutes to an hour every day when I was going to work. So I decided to take these guys for oncoming traffic and let me tell you guys, they made a huge, huge difference. I felt that one, my brain wasn't hurting anymore because of all the LED lights. I mean, I, I was barely awake up in the morning at five, five in the morning already driving, and I'm already seeing these LED lights. The sun isn't even out yet. So that really, really helped out with the headaches. Also, it helped me out to wake up in a more gradual way. I felt when I didn't use them in the morning that my eyes would almost like be forced to wake up immediately because of all the oncoming traffic lights. And it just felt bad. It, it felt like, uh, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. And then you just kind of dealt with it and you went with it. But now with these on, it feels like it's a, like a little bit more of a, 
okay, everything's good. You keep on driving and then before you know it, your body's like, okay, we're, we're running. It's a little bit more of a natural awakening for me. And this was the major thing that made me love these glasses, this and using them at nighttime. So I got super crazy into the research of this and there's some pretty good compelling research coming out specifically, especially in the past couple of years saying how helpful this blue light blocking capabilities are especially for our brains so so yeah that was the third um, thing that I really really noticed the fourth thing I found out was that there's a lot more LED or blue light coming towards us than we usually think all the signs street light signs car signs, like all oh, so many things there's just blue light everywhere and in my house everything's made up out of LED lights and I've slowly been changing them I don't know if you guys can see that this actually gives a little bit of a different color in the background and I have this kind of like this is actually an LED light coming towards me but that isn't so the reason for that is I'm trying to kind of mitigate the blue light that's kind of around me it's opened my eyes to that that to noticing how much blue light there is just all around us i think it's really eye-opening in that sense it makes you realize what where you are what your environment is and how sometimes we just need to escape it as much as we can so yes it definitely makes me it made me more aware of my surroundings and number five it also made me realize how much I use all my devices, how much it impacts me, how much time I spend in front of my computer, in front of my phone, in front of my TV. Like it's just, it's ridiculous. And so I started actually going out into the sun a little bit more and that helped out greatly. That was a completely different thing, but I, it made me realize how much time I spend in front of all my devices. And even though the science isn't super clear right now as to if these are gonna help out or if these are just a gimmick or you know what whatever it might be if it's just a placebo effect of using them there's more and more research coming out to help get this point across that blue light is actually affecting us in a very negative way but i think it's also a really inexpensive preventative measure these cost me about twenty dollars given they are super cheap blue light blocking glasses and I'm pretty sure there's better quality ones but I went with a kind of a no risk kind of set for right now I didn't want to spend too much money but I think I'm gonna get some higher quality ones pretty soon uh, there's a lot of companies that offer some really good ones but they start to get very pricey and I, I kind of get why you know it is very important especially if you're gonna wear something comfortable something doesn't look like birth control for your face you know I already got plenty of that going all around I don't want to add on top of it so <laughs> so what are my final thoughts um, who do I think these are for and what companies do I recommend first off I don't want to recommend any companies uh, I want you guys to kind of do your research but I will say that if you want to grab these these are on Amazon, they're by Syxus, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's C-Y-X-U-S. So they're like 20 bucks in Amazon and they're just blue light reflective glasses. So that's all they do. They're different from computer glasses, which I will definitely make a comparison between blue light blocking glasses and computer glasses in the near future. But so far, just all you need to know, these are just blue light reflective glasses. They are not computer glasses. There's a big difference between both of them. And that's usually where you're gonna see the markup in most of these. But I, I do recommend these if you're looking for a cheap pair to just go ahead and try and see if you like wearing them or not, if they're helpful or not. Especially again, if you're in front of a computer for a long period of time, I definitely recommend these. I'll leave a link to them down in the description below. I really like them. I think you should definitely wear a set at least for a week. Give them a shot. And if you like them, awesome. If you find them helpful, great. And if you don't, again, it's one of those things where you can be, you know what? I gave it a shot. It wasn't for me. Let's move on. Now nobody can tell you about it. So this is why I tried it out myself. You know, I was really super skeptical. Is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work? And I ended up finding out that it's something that I love using that I'm not gonna leave my house without anymore. If, especially if I'm gonna be working in front of a computer, intensive work, at either work or anywhere where I'm gonna be bombarded with a bunch of LED lights. So yeah, I love them, I like them. I'm gonna get a different brand for sure, but I see no problem with these. I like these, they're matte black, they, they do what they're supposed to do. 
but I think I'm getting a pair for me and all my family pretty soon. Hopefully they like them. If not, I'll make them like them. But that is it for today, guys. Thanks for listening to all my gibberish once again. If you guys haven't already done so, please go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Just like I said at the beginning of the video, push that subscribe button and push that notification bell. That way you guys get notified every time I come up with a video such as this. Again, I'll keep you posted on next week's results. They are pretty rad. I'm super stoked to inform you about that, guys. But that is it. Zay, out. Peace.